make some noise. Welcome to the experience. I'm your host, Pedro. I don't. Fine. <laughs> All right, here we go. Welcome to the 8 Bit Experience. My name is Christy Lopez, and here at the 8 Bit Experience, we like to talk about video games, movies, comic books, and sometimes music and sports. Today, I'm here to talk about Funko Pop Figures. So, I've been collecting pop figures for years and my collection is always growing. So I figured I'd talk about the upcoming pops of this year. And it was a really hard choice to figure out my top 10, but I figured let's just make a list and let's see what you guys thought of it. So here's my top 10. All right, starting our list off at number 10, we have Funko Pop Movies Super Troopers, which includes Farva, Ramathorn, Mac, Rabbit, and Foster. Although only Farva, Ramathorn, and Mac are pre-ordable at this time, coming out in May, Rabbit and Foster, they have yet to release any pictures of them, which leads me to believe that Rabbit and Foster may be store exclusives. We'll see as we get closer to May. You son of a bitch! Okay, so next on the list, coming in at number nine, Funko Pop Animation Care Bears. We've got Chair Bear, Tender Heart Bear, Grumpy Bear, Love A Lot, Good Luck Bear, Funshine, and Bedtime Bear. Now the only reason that they came in number nine is because there's so many variants. We've got all the bears and then Cheer Bear. We've got Glow in the Dark Chase, Grumpy Bear. We've got a Toys R Us exclusive flocked version. And then with Love A Lot, there's the Entertainment Earth Glow. Good Luck Bear has the Glitter Chase variant, but then there's also the Flocked version that was released at the Emerald City Comic Con. In Funshine Bear, there's the Glow in the Dark Chase exclusive. And with Bedtime Bear, you have to order from the Funko Shop. So there's just so many to collect. Oh, it's a little overwhelming, but I've got to get them all. The next ones to make the list is Pop Games Marvel Future Fight. Marvel's Future Fight, an action RPG mobile game, joins the Pop family. Sharon Rogers is going to be featured as Captain America and Amadeus Cho as Hulk for Marvel Gamerverse Collection, which should be released around May. Now, if you haven't tried Marvel's Future Fight, I'm going to recommend it. I'm not usually into the, the mobile fighting games, but I tried this one out. And it's actually one of the better ones that I've tried. So definitely give it a shot. Coming in at number seven, Funko Pop Disney, Doug. Yep, Disney's Doug joins Pop. Doug Funny and his loyal dog Porkchop, along with Doug's love interest, Patty Mayonnaise, will be releasing sometime in June. There will be a flocked pork chop chase as well as a quail man that can be found at Toys R Us and a quail dog that can be found at Hot Topic. Don't forget to add them to your collection. <laughs> Pop Movies Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Yes, the movie is coming to theaters this June. So Funko is releasing Claire Owen and Little Blue Pop figures to hold us over in May until then. That's right, I cannot wait to add Little Blue and let Jurassic World and Jurassic Park figures meet. I just wish I had more, you know? We are halfway through our list at number five, Funko Pop Movies It, featuring Pennywise with spider legs, Pennywise holding a severed arm, which is an Amazon exclusive, and Pennywise with a crowbar through his head available only at FYE stores. Coming out sometime this April, and it wouldn't be right with new Pennywise figures without releasing the Losers Club. Hey, it wasn't my choice to call him that. They're all winners in my book, except for Georgie. Clearly, he didn't win. We have Funko Pop Movies 40th Anniversary Grease. So we've got two versions of Sandy Olsen and two versions of Danny Zuko. Sandy Olsen in her carnival getup. And then we have Sandra D and Danny Zuko with sweater. And then just Danny Zuko. They'll be available, I believe, sometime in April. So 
so pre-order them or don't, whether you want them or not. 40 years is a really long time. You're the one that I want, right? Number three, meet George Jetson. Funko Pop Animation, The Jetsons. I cannot wait. Super excited. The series includes George, my favorite, Astro, and Rosie, the household robot, expected to release in May. You can pre order right now. Super excited. Did I mention that? Yay! Now, there were rumors of number two on the list last year, and it has been confirmed for an August release date. Funko Pop Marvel Deadpool Parody Collection is going to be released. We have Playtime Deadpool Bob Ross, Playtime Deadpool in a Robe, Playtime Deadpool Clown, and Playtime Deadpool Sexy. So if you are a Deadpool fan, you definitely want to add these to your collection. They are pretty hilarious looking. Even if you don't like Deadpool, they're still pretty funny. Coming in at number one on the list is Funko Pop DC Heroes Crypto the Superdog. Just because he's so freaking cute. That's right. His alias is Superdog and he was once Cal L's pet dog on Krypton. That's right. Superman. He does have the same abilities as Superman. Anyways, he made number one on the list because he's so cute and I'm pre-ordering him no matter what Pedro says. So he is from a specialty series and he's pre-orderable right now. He's expected to release in May and he's so cute. Crypto the super dog. Put him on the bench. Wait, please, no, I just So that concludes my top 10 list on the 2018 Funko Pop figures. What'd you guys think? Leave me some feedback and let me know. I do want to give you guys a heads up that we are going to be doing another giveaway this year, just like we did last year. However, this one is going to be even better. Also, I want to give you guys a sneak peek at one of the items we're going to be giving away. Details for this giveaway are going to be released in our next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm Christy Lopez, and this is the 8-Bit Experience. Bye! Here at the 8-Bit Experience, we like to talk about video games, movies, and all that other stuff. Suck, police. Yep, I'm aware. <clears throat> Hey, <laughs> Pedro, you tear me apart. Why so serious? Why so serious, Pedro? <laughs>